be prepared for offensive language throughout, sexual themes, and frank discussion about gun control laws. Dear four, Watergate weighs heavily on Austin. He stole the water from everybody. Stole? Isn't it? Stole. stole. Oh, is that stole. your name on it? I apologize if I stole your water, Austin. Is this dude for real? Like, is this shit for real? Please don't walk. I, I can't say that that's not a possibility at this point. You would look back and you think, why didn't I do that? New arrivals touch down. It's your brand new housemates, G. Edward. What's up? You got Jedward in the house. Do they talk diarrhea or what? Yeah. And the love triangle is the talk of the house. I get to scoot around from boy to boy. She's getting involved with both, and I'm like, ah, oh, come on, well. She's the kind of woman who is a player. She's enjoying it. Yeah. The, intent, the attention. Let me just have this moment for one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a naughty girl. <laughs> Day 4, 9.30 a.m. Housemates are waking up for their fourth day in the Big Brother house. Last night, Austin and Spidey fell out over bottled water. Oh, shit, man! We got everything. Austin, for real, stop. For real, you and your husband bed. just stole We're not going everybody. Get out because of I'm face. not being a dirty bitch and saying I'm gonna take face. all the water. Unless you're a fucking so idiot. So I stole your water. Unless you're a fucking so idiot, stole there's no your water. point for this. I stole water. Austin is in the diary room. Uh, everybody seems to be in a great mood except Spencer, of course. But hopefully that's because he realizes what a dickhead he was last night. And it's kind of like a dog with his tail between his legs. But I had no intention on getting to an argument with either of them. I just went to the bed, tried to get the water back. It didn't happen. Heidi intervened, and then, and then that's when it all exploded. She uses Spencer as her scapegoat because he has no problem to stand up and say, it was me, I did it, I don't give a shit, I'm Spencer, I'm Spencer. Um, and she allows those antics to happen. She knows what's, she's collaborating with him. And then we'll just hide behind and let him take the fall for everything. Because she wants everyone to believe that Spencer's the one doing it. And she said several times, well, Spencer and I are two different people and I'm not responsible for his actions. But when you know a crime is going to be committed, and you allow it to happen, you're just as guilty as the person that committed that crime, period. I think everybody would agree with me on that as well. Spencer is talking to Heidi and Callum about last night's water fallout. I get stealing wine and beer. Like, I 100% would see a liquor freak out. I would go yell at somebody if it's like, you're putting wine bottles under your bed. But in a million years, I wouldn't have thought like, this little, four little small waters would have kicked off her out and that's if i had known i would have done all of them <laughs> it's so funny they said it was all of them and it was four it, it was four that was the funniest part too and there were so many in there still yeah. stacy and rear j are discussing heidi she's a spiritual person like you you, you felt that you so you you know you can't she's very spiritual is she is she very spiritual she's spiritual it's like it's like night and day. That's why they work so good, because, you know, he's, he's over the top, off the edge, and then she's, she, keeps him, she keeps the stability in the house. But it, how spiritual is she if she is allowing him to do wrong? You can't be so holier than thou, but your man, who you laying in bed with every night, don't have no holiness but that's in not, him. that's not true, like, because over, over time, he'll get to that point. Over time. Over how much time? These fools been together for years, right? It's still years. It's, yeah, but I heard her say, babe, where, where are the waters? Give the, like, and he was like, I drank all four. She was like, oh, okay, well, well, if you had to give the waters back. She told him, you know what I mean? Oh, she did. He was like, well, just don't hide anymore no, or something. No, so, she okay, wonderful example. If you say to me, if my, if my wife says to me, baby, where's the water? And, and then I said, well, I drank all four of them. She needs to be like, dude, why the hell did you drink all the waters? You know these people need some water in the house. But why can't um, people just drink the tap water? Nobody wants to drink tap water. 
Because there's poison in some tap water. No, nah, this is British tap water. I think it's I, good. I say, I don't, I'm not saying that. I don't have a problem with it. I'll drink the tap water. But my point about it is this. This is the principle of the matter. I think you guys are... You're defending you're, him. You're, you're attacking the homie. No one is attacking him. And I'm not homie, attacking all, him. All he wanted to do was stay hydrated. <laughs> Big brother, can you get some more water? No problem. Like, oh, that's all it is? Okay. Twelve thirty-two PM. Bianca and Colleen are talking about the chance of new housemates arriving. Do you reckon um we get some newbies tonight? <sighs> Don't know. I reckon so. Where are they gonna sleep? Oh, someone might have to be going somewhere else. Or it might be just one newbie, in which case there is one spare space. Oh, then, in yeah, one but, bed. one but two, if that makes sense. That's a two. God. Oh, no. You don't think so? Please, God. I think so. Do you? Yeah. Do you know so, or do you no, think so? No, I don't so? know so. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus, really? Really? Oh, I can say. Please, God, no. I mean, I know Big Brother are cruel, but come on. Oh, I thought, do you know what? When I watched them. Oh, I my. Were, I I, all I could think of was. I couldn't be in a house with them. Really? I just. Yeah, I just no, it's different laughing. sitting at home laughing watching them 24 7. Oh, yeah, no. Obviously, I don't. Yeah, but watching them, I remember mean, they're quite funny. Angie is helping Heidi and Jasmine to work out. Come up by squeezing your stomach and rounding your back and pull your belly button to your spine. Up slowly, down slowly. That's it. Good. Good girl. Reggie and Austin are talking about life in the U.S. here. I mean, America, so you never know what's going to happen, though, so you keep a gun on you, like, in certain states, because, look, people shooting up, like, grocery stores, movies. Like, it's, like, at this point, people... Nowhere is safe. You, yeah, like, you... Anymore. Now you got to try to protect the citizens, you know? So, for example, if, if, if... Let's say Ray and I don't know each other, but we're at the grocery store, and I'm carrying my I'm a 9 millimeter Smith & Wesson, and you go to attack him, if I think you're going to kill him, I can shoot you, execute you free and clear, and I wouldn't be charged with a crime. And it'll be a citizen's wait, wait, wait. Like, it'll be a citizen's Say arrest or citizen. In the state of Indiana, if I see oh somebody God. attacking another person like and I think thick, they're going to kill him, just the most I can, thick, stupid I thing can I've shoot ever fucking heard. James, and with, I and wouldn't you, be charged with a crime. Indiana has... Vi we're a red state. So we have very loose gun laws because they just like the How second do you feel amendment. About that? I, I mean, I grew up with this, so I'm, it's just yeah, normality it's to me. See, yeah. I think with British, you Brits will never get it because you just you weren't raised in a, in a, in a society. Because we're more intelligent, I think. Do you not? Say, for, would you not prefer that there weren't guns? Of course, I would prefer yeah. that. Of yeah. course, yeah, the yeah, mind, I mean, unfortunately, it, the mentality and the attitude of the people carrying them. It is, you know I hate what I mean? to have to carry I mean, a gun. I see, like, I've yeah. seen them I when I went it. down stuff like, you know, nice ladies with the strap, like, strapped. And I would be like, wow, what's... what's... <laughs> I find it in a I, fashion I, sense, I, though. Fashion, like, what? fly. What? Pink, 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 pink guns, guns. No. accessorized guns, oh, blinged yeah. out. No. Oh, yeah. They came but out dance, it, like you fly, said, would you, would you yeah. like if it wasn't that way? When I come to England, I can say I honestly sleep a little bit easier knowing that, the, that statistically the person, if someone were to break into my house, is low anyway. But then on top of that, the chances of them having a gun in England are almost yeah. slim to none. zero. Yeah. So you just can't buy guns here? No. Coming up has GMC had enough. You OK? You leaving? See ya. Oh. That's OK. That's all right. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good, don't worry. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. One thirty-five pm Jasmine and Callum are cooking lunch. Hola. Why are you trying to take my fucking man off me? I'm, oi, not. Oi. I'm just trying to feed him. Yeah, that's the way to his heart. Oh. 
Yeah, you know. I already have his heart. Colleen is talking about the last time she was in the Big Brother house. The only thing was, which you two would have liked, they were all in bed at, like, 10. Oh. Or 11. I don't mind... Like, Angie would have loved my house, cos they, were, they weren't really a party house at all. Well, they're not, no. I don't no. mind the partying. I just... I find it, after a couple of hours, a bit... Boring. Not... Just difficult to listen to. Listen to, yeah. You know? Jimmy is talking to Nicola about his ex-wife. Obviously, when I was with Danielle, I was earning really good money. Yeah. So she was kind of expecting that to continue. But that's life, isn't it? Yeah, of course. And I was like, well, that, you know, you've got to understand, I'm not in that life no more. I'm not on that money and I don't want them things. You know, I can't afford the things that we used to have. I know you. If you could, you would, obviously, for your children. Yeah, I'd give my kids my last can't... penny. And, that's, exactly. and it hurts me because I think, like, fucking hell, I'm paying out... Of, you know, I just want to be a little bit appreciated. You know, like, fucking hell. I am paying out a fortune. You do, un do you, you know, you do understand that I am paying out a lot of money still. So... Mm. It, it's so fucking draining. You yeah, know, like, yeah. a, just a constant battle. Oh. Where, in the end, you're just like, oh, you know what, like... Fuck, whatever. It's easier just to just go, yeah. Just, and, yeah, and to be honest, like, obviously, when I was at Fulham, everything that I was earning was gone. Yeah. And I was just using my savings, basically, for my spending. Oh, bless you. Bless you. That doesn't last you. forever. I mean, you need to provide for your kids, obviously, but realistically, yeah. mm. you can't get blood from a stone. Exactly, yeah. It's such a draining fucking situation, but... I guess... You know, obviously, I beat myself up over it for a long time, like... I was like, oh, fucking hell, yeah, we've got to do this. But in the end, you're just like, come on, man, help me out. You know, to help me out a little bit. I'm fucking trying to rebuild myself as well. I'm entitled to a future. Two forty-seven p.m. Some of the housemates are in the smoking area. Well, I don't think any wives or girlfriends would call themselves away. Because if no. they did, then I'd think they were the biggest dickhead in the whole entire yeah. world. <laughs> and I yeah. But you must have met a girl who that was her goal, was to just become one. No, like... Jamie met one and married one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you fucker. Um... <laughs> Colleen is talking to Big Brother about Heidi and Spencer. I've had quiet talks with them too, and I've seen a different side to them, and I know that it's an absolute game playing with them. And underneath that, you know, I mean, they are a bit strange, but they're actually nice. They're just a bit strange in the whole... They're just never apart. I mean, never, if they both walk into the same rooms together and they don't sit individually and talk to people, it's just weird. Like, I'm not convinced that... When Heidi gets into bed at night, like, he doesn't take the batteries out of her back or something. I don't know. It's very Stepford wife. Yeah, man, I mean, oh, Callum man, is yeah. talking about his former so housemate, no Katie honest, Price. Is you Katie do? still as famous as she was years ago? Or uh, she's she super well-known. She always uh, has been, uh, really, you know, but uh, so she voted for me every single time on nominations. Katie Every price. And we, we knew each other outside the show. We were, like, friendly outside the show. She voted for me every single time. What were her reasons? Um, that she thought I'd be safe. It was really uh, weak reasons. You're not allowed to say that. That, 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 that was the first, them. and then they, yeah. called her, they called her out uh -huh. for the second one and said, no, that's not good enough. Yeah, 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 you can't say that anymore. You add that to the rules. You can't say that, <laughs> and don't the ask the like... question. Who? If she asks him the question and then tells him he can't say the yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Don't ask the question. Exactly. No, exactly. <laughs> it is one of those things. It's like, don't ask if you don't fucking... Yeah, yeah. and then don't tell me off hey, for hi. giving you an answer. About oh, no, she hand. wasn't talking to me. Who was she talking to, then? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I was lost. No, we were talking about past people and them voting. Oh, and, I see. And in the, I, rule, in the I, rules, you can't yeah, say but, that. Yeah, but she had asked him the question. Oh, now you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. now you can't. Oh, okay, she got defensive. I'm thinking, <laughs> Bless her. I'm thinking, I dismissed that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, no, no, she thought that you were giving me grief then. That's what, that, oh, that's no, what you thought, no, yeah? No. yeah? Yeah, no, she yeah. wasn't at all. OK. Yeah, <coughs> they changed the rules. They changed, they changed the rules. You know what? You guys are going oh, for next no. time. Yeah, <laughs> you, I did. That's exactly I what I did. I want my mom here. You're like, because I... Sorry about that, Heidi, babes. Oh, come on. went over Heidi's head, too. Yeah, please. 
It's all good. Yeah. So what did you think then? You thought that she was giving me shit? Yeah. Your That's mom was like, well, don't ask him tell. the question. Yeah, yeah, If you don't like tell. the answer, then don't ask him the question. Why yeah. you ask my baby that question? Yeah. <laughs> this is my baby. Yeah, this yeah. my baby. Don't, don't be talking don't to my baby. Him. Don't you, you don't talk to my, you don't talk, you try to talk to him? Yeah, you, that's what you it was talk like. to I was me like, first. Oh, shit. <laughs> Both as, bad. Both as bad as each other. But you gave her the answer, and she said, well, you're not allowed to say that. And I said, well, why'd you ask him the bloody right. question? Yeah. <laughs> Your mom was not having not it. Having I was it. like, oh, So now you okay. see why I do my shit, yeah? yeah the game's starting to affect you now, isn't it, Mom? Nah, no, good, good, don't let it. I just wanted to cause a little kerfuffle. Don't, fuck's sake, because then I have to get involved. No, you, you know? don't. I do, Mother. It's my instinct tells all me right. to get involved. All right, then I will. I will always get involved if my mom's all involved. All right, right? all right. Yeah. <laughs> Four or nine p.m. Jamie and Jasmine are at the sofas. Did you stash some water yet? You know what? Like I've fucking I drink tap water, so I'm not really bothered. <sighs> um. I thought they was gonna load it up in here, like okay. you know, like with loads of I don't know more people and more sort of entertainment. I mean, like, how many days does it feel like you've been in here? Like, like a least, week. Yeah, at least. Yeah. We got here Tuesday, it's Friday. I mean, it seems like an eternity. But then you look back on it and you want to come back because you missed it. Do you? Yeah. Did you miss it? Mm -hmm. You wanted to come back? Really bad. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, because it's just such a different, cool experience. Just like, what the fuck was that? And then you want to go back and be like, OK, I want to, like, really take it all in every moment of it. Mm. And before, in the headspace I was in, I was just sort of like, oh! I wasn't really appreci appreciating what was going on. Mm. It's difficult for me, obviously, it's new, but for you, it's like, I feel like you, you're all chilled about the whole thing, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because you've had the experience. Yeah. So you're like kind of... A mm. little bit more, but not, not much. It still has its... I still get moments of, like, waves of huge anxiety. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, God, what is about to happen? And yeah, I'm yeah. scared. Like when I was going to kiss you, and you was like... Huge, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Evil. You weren't going to do it. I would have done it. You wouldn't have. I would have. You would have. Ah! How's things? Good. Jamie just told me he really was going to kiss me in the task. Aww. Why He's do I a get lovely so nervous? boy. He's so cute. Such a sweet boy. Callum would kill you and him. You'd find your bodies buried. He's just teasing. Of course he is, bless him. It's cute, though. Yep. It's a nice change from my last season, where I, it, it was it was two girls and one boy. Now I got the upper hand. <laughs> now I get to scoot around from boy to boy. There man you go. to man. <laughs> Nicola is talking to Big Brother about her first few deers in the house. It's so soon into our experience that obviously it's new, but I can see that Bianca and Jasmine seem really, really close, which is really nice. A little bit jealous. Maybe I want to be friends too, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Um, I mean, I'm friends with them. They're lovely, but I don't feel in their little their clique. They seem really strong. Callum and Jamie are definitely having a bromance, which is nice. And then we've got Brandon and James C, who seem to be constantly together. So there's definitely people forming strong friendships early on, I think. Austin, Bianca and Stacey are in the bedroom. Uh, I see something developing between... Jamie. ...Cal and Jasmine. Yeah, I uh -oh. do. She was just holding hands with Jamie. There's nothing wrong with a little flirt, is there? Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> I just want, uh, it'd be interesting to see how it unfolds. Yeah, it's very interesting to watch. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> See, I was watching last night and I was thinking, oh, she seems like her and Callum was having a little flirt and then it, yeah, and then, I don't know, it's, it's funny, isn't it, because you can't tell which one. But as a woman, does it start to get, like, a little awkward, like, if you, like, start liking someone more, you know what I mean? I don't think for her. I think she's the kind of woman who <laughs> is a player. She enjoys it. And what's, what's that? She's, in, she's enjoying it, yeah. the, atten the attention. Seven or eight p.m. Big Brother is playing crowd noise into the house ahead of tonight's live show. Jamie is talking to Angie about Jasmine. Jasmine will be good for you. You think? Well, 
she would in one sense, but then I'd worry that she's so out there. Yeah, yeah. And you're a nice Essex boy. Yeah. And I don't know that you'd travel out there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I didn't. But you know what? I actually just like her. Oh, you know, what's know, not to like? Yeah, like I just like her. Yeah. As a person. Everybody. But I wouldn't say no. What? I wouldn't say no. No, God no. GMC has come to speak to Big Brother. How is the mood in the house this evening? Uh, apprehensive, I think. Um, because never having been in this situation before, you know, you, you don't realise that you, Big Brother, plays all sorts of games with us, you know, like, you, you just don't know what's going to happen, you know, like, quite possibly you could say, exit the door on your left, and I'm gone, you know, quite easily. So, yeah, every, everyone's a bit sort of, just, what's, what's going to happen? We know something's going to happen, uh, but we just don't know what it is. Colleen and Callum are speculating about what will happen later tonight. I'm so curious what we're going to be doing. I think it'll be face-to-face -face nominations. Yeah. And I think someone might come in. Yeah. If someone does come in, what if it's someone, like, awful? Wants like, the notoriously... Spiteful. <laughs> ...pairs in the day. But who knows? We will do this, don't we? I was, going to I was the life so out of it. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You'll never be cleverer than Big Brother. James, you're now free to return to the house. Oh, I'm staying. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um... Is it OK if I wind up the rest of the... the housemates by going in and pretending to pack for a second? James, yeah? you're free to do whatever you wish within the house. OK. Within reason. OK. It'll just be a laugh, anyway. OK, bye-bye. I've got to put on a serious face now. You okay? You leaving? See ya. It's okay. That's all right. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. Oh, I'm gone. Sorry. Huh? I'm gone. I see you, man. See, you, I'm a bit, a bit upset. Yeah. yeah. Guys. You're a liar. Ah, uh, he's bugging with you. Yeah, you yeah. wish. You <laughs> wish. Where are you going with one suitcase? No way. <laughs> James, you got me so good. You got me so good. Oh my god. Coming up, Austin's at breaking point. Please don't walk. No. Please don't walk. I, I can't say that that's not a possibility. <laughs> Ten thirty-two p.m. In the live show, Big Brother revealed that the edited out housemates had lost their right to nominate. After surviving being edited out, New Stars Angie and Jamie then had to kill and nominate one of the edited out housemates. To do this, they took it in turns to choose which housemates to save. Jamie saved Bianca. Oh. Angie saved Stacey. Thank you. And Jamie saved Rear J. This left Angie to decide between GMC and Brandon. Oh, this one's rough because they're both such diamonds. Because he really enjoys himself, I'm going to save Brandon. James C. Jamie and Angie chose not to save you. You must therefore face the first public vote for eviction. OK. Further nominations will take place in due course. The producer's control of the show is now over. 
To celebrate, Big Brother will throw all housemates a rap party shortly. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. Of course I'm all right. Let's party. At the housemates rap party, all-star housemates Jedward made their entrance. Who is this? Jedward! Who? Cool. Jedward! I don't know, I've never seen them. Are they big? No! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Are they really a group or are they playing? Are they joking? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought it was joking. <laughs> Ten fifty five PM. Some of the housemates are finding it hard to tell Jedward apart. So how is there an easy way of telling yeah, the difference? Got yeah, I got I, it's, it's totally different. Like I got I got a pointy ear. Oh yeah. I got my cheek teeth crossover. I don't even see my teeth. Jesus, oh, there's a Hollywood you. smile, okay? Oh, yeah, you've got the pointy. I got a scar on my nose, oh, not yeah. from my nose job. So you're Jedward. I got hit with a hurry, you know, so hockey. No, they're both Jedward. Head head no, you're John. When I was five or John? six. Or yeah, I'm John. You're John. It's been 12 minutes since Jedward entered the house. Big Brother has called Edward to the diary room. It's so weird being here out, John. Whatever. Okay. Hello, Edward. Hey. How are you? Um, walking into the Big Brother house, I had a bit of a fall. Not just a normal fall, not a stupid fall, but a very tragic fall. I was reaching out to the fans. It was a crash barrier and the stage. That's like... why Big Brother's called you to the diary room, Edward. Yeah, like my whole back's tensing there's a, up. There's a medic waiting for you on the other side of this door. Big yeah. Brother's going right. to let him in now and he's okay. going to examine you. Great. I'm ready for this examination. The rest of the housemates are at the rap party where Jedward are the topic of conversation. So I'm saying we got Jedward in the house. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know either, y'all. I don't know, yeah. Are they better not They're so. lovely, lovely boys, but... Yeah. They are high Because they talk diarrhea or what? Yeah. They're lovely, but they're high class. I'm glad they're here. Anyway. To give Spencer a little run for his Yeah, I'll definitely give Spencer a run for his money. He's thrilled they're here. Huh? He's thrilled they're here. I'm Heidi, this is Spencer. And we're, and together we're Spidey! Spidey. Yeah. You, guys, you guys had, like, your joint name before us, so... No, no, yeah. we're all... It's different. We're in the same it's joint name I like click. Jackets, very yeah. Oh, you guys don't have joint oh, names. We, oh. we have all the joint names. Oh, that's so oh, sad for yeah. you guys. Oh, it's cool. All these oh, sing, all these oh, non oh, non joint so name people. Uh, they, 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 they might be. It's okay. It's good to have a double duo. I wouldn't worry about it, guys. Oh uh, no, you, you should worry. Come sit my lap. Okay. You gonna tell me a story? Oh, I wish I was a woman. <laughs> wish I was a woman. Yeah. I'm squashing you. Why? Oh, those two are just winding me up. Not the new two, the old two. Mm. It's like, dude, let it go. Yeah. Get a new joke. Yeah, we're cool. We have two people in our name. Such oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're not going to compete, though, are they? Huh? These, these two are just, like, they're positive. Yeah. Happy. Fun. Like... The complete opposite of yeah, everything. Yeah, so this is, this other, is my favourite duo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's so annoying because I'm literally here for, like, less than an hour. No, I'm, like, literally, like, five seconds on the show and I hurt myself. Like, I feel like I literally have a pole in the back of my back keeping my back up tight. And my hair's like, what's going on with my hair? Like, you know it's a bad day when my hair looks like this? Like, literally, like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> All I want to do is go to a shower and wash my hair and put nice conditioner in it and it'd be like flat and looking good. And I have to go into a hospital looking like this. Like, who turns up to a hospital like this? I look like I'm about to open a hospital. Like, look at me. I don't even want to laugh because it's sore. This is literally Jedward in crisis.
L seriously, could someone get me hairspray? <laughs> oh. Eleven forty-seven p.m. John has a burning question for his new housemates. I'm gonna get some water. Where's the water? Is there any water? Yeah, good question. Oh, no, <laughs> you you have the right hey, people. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, yes, that I don't care. We we'll actually something. have the monopoly on uh, yeah, water yeah. in the house if you'd like some. Yeah, we're the ones that have the water. I, I hydrated a lot today, so. An upset Austin is in the storeroom. I, like, this is exactly what I did not want to do, was come in here and just be emotional. And, and is it because, and... because you're missing the outside? Yeah. It's this vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle in here because when I get upset, I don't want to show it, but then, but then I have nothing to give to the group. I'm like, that's not me. Yeah, because you, I'm so full of energy a, and, no, and like to have are, a good time. And you are. You are really, honestly, babe. Literally, the, <clears throat> the first couple of nights, obviously, was, is last night you wasn't yourself, and you know that. But you've got time to try and enjoy yourself. Excuse I don't know me. how. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Stop it. No, <clears throat> no, no, no. But you know what I mean, okay? Because yeah. like, try and enjoy, like you know. I'm let trying. It, come I'm and let it out with me so in here. Hard. I know you are. But today you have been. That's all right. What's up, babe? Oh, no, yeah, he's just, just having just, a bit of a like hard time. Like this, from the start, I'm just not having a He's just having a hard time. I'm not having missing a good time. Missing his partner. And... and I just feel like this is so unlike me to be in a fucking closet crying. I hate it. Because he's a fun, you but, know what he's like. But it's like, where does it where does it stop? Like, I don't want to go in there and cry. Babe, but yet, time to I want to be in the around, group as well. And, yeah. and like, I think you can tell when I'm not. No, absolutely. When I'm there, I'm there and I'm loving it. It's great, but when I'm not, I'm just, it's so, it's so, he it's weighing so heavy on me right now. Please don't walk. No. Please don't walk. I, I can't say that that's not a possibility but, at this but point. But please, you, you, please you make would it your very beat last. yourself up. You would beat yourself up. And also, up, you said yesterday that you they would were look brilliant. Back and you think, why didn't them? I do that? Because you've got it, like you can do this, and you're going to come out amazing. You just got to realise it, and your partner is going to be so like proud of you. If he saw you, you'd be like, come on, he'd be like, come on, babe, you know, enjoy yourself, because you know he's going to be proud of you. Okay? I want to literally just go. Yeah, you're right. I know, I time, know, but, but at the no, moment I'm finding it hard. Eleven fifty-five p.m. Rhea G is talking to Jasmine about game plan. I'm not gonna try to win in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? That's not my style. No, absolutely. If I get never. sent home for, for bringing the love, then you know yeah. I'd rather win a heart. You're a hundred percent right. Than lose so many. Because you know? then you never lose. It's like it, it takes so much more energy to hate. Like, it's You're just, not gonna lose if you if you go out knowing you did everything that's the, what I'm the way you the way if you have your integrity still when you leave here mm -hmm. and you say I did everything fucking right you win yeah. period because this is a tough twisted fucking manipulating yeah. game and I, I know it's gonna get crazy and mm -hmm. all of that but you know love overshadows all that absolutely it does and the, the more love we have in our heart I don't think that no matter what it won't affect us like that we'll be fine. GMC is talking to Big Brother about being. Killer nominated. If they didn't want to save me from nomination, um, that's their decision, you know, and I'm okay with that. I really am. Do you think nominations will change the dynamic in the house? Yeah, whether the, the contestants or the housemates, whatever you want to call them, uh, like it or not, um, it, it does change your perception of people. You, know, you think, oh, like that's. Oh, they, 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 they want me to go and and it's going to be difficult for some of them to uh, to take that sort of calmly and say, hey, listen, it's, it's not personal. I think a lot of them will take it very personally and, as I say, it will get, get heated very quickly. You know, I think the next nomination, the next couple of days after that, you're going to see some, uh, uh, some real confrontations. John is talking to Heidi about being without Edward. I just enjoy, I enjoy my own company sometimes. I, I'm fine, I'm just fine just joining. And you're yeah. like us, you get a teammate, it's different. Yeah, it's good. It's good someone's on your level and yeah. gets you. I just want to talk with me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Edit's not here right now. No, I say like, yeah. I know how I am without Spencer, yeah. and it's different. I know. You know, yeah. so it's like this your teammate. Yeah, because we don't do anything mm -hmm. separate, and in real life, yeah. we're together yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's the way it should be. No, yeah. Some relationships. People, they go off desire, and then they realize two years later, I don't even like this person as yeah. a person. We've been together for 10 years. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Time. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're fresh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That's my husband. And, uh, and we're together it's almost good. 24 good. hours yeah, a day. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to go out with someone who, you know what I mean? It's fun and interesting. People sometimes they try to be too cool. They try to get out this whole, like, Ooh, I'm, I'm this hard dude. And then it comes down to the core of it. They're just. Just all show. That's it. They got a couple of lines, and after that, they yeah. don't even go. They don't even go into new territory of like discovering a whole other level of you know, like keeping things interesting. Relationships. I've had two relationships, and I always keep it interesting. Coming up, Jasmine gets cozy. Let me just have this moment for one. Minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wants the moment. I just want one moment. She wants the moment. Just one, just one, double moment. Just double one. moment. Just one. Oh, what a naughty girl. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother wants to send you to the beautiful Maldives on a holiday for two. You'll stay all-inclusive for ten nights at the five-star Park Hyatt Maldives Hadahar in a park villa. Once there, you'll explore the beauty of the house reef with a guided snorkeling excursion, as well as heading out on the ocean for a fishing trip. After all that action, you can relax with a two-hour spa treatment each. Plus, you'll have a thousand pounds spending money. But that's not all. You'll also be the proud owner of a diving room style chair from the series. So if you a chance to win, text CBB to 65515 or post your name and phone number to CBB PO Box 7557 Derby DE10 NP. Text costs £1.50 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close on the date shown on screen and three working days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com slash win. Good luck. One forty-one a.m. John is name dropping. Guess what? I talked to the Edge recently on the plane from U2, and because he was like, "Well, you know a lot about music." He was going to do a speech, and it's cool. We talked to people. They're like, I didn't know you would talk about stuff like that. And he wanted to talk, and he was adding to the conversation. If you want to talk music, you talk to Brandon. He'll talk music. Oh, the I DJ. learned more. You know, who Brandon is. Like, He's I like a real DJ. I don't. Uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't. I don't know. No, like he knows. I, he knows music I, so I, well. I think he needs to do a bit more DJing. Like DJing, like 20 years ago, is what it was. But you need to keep progressing the now. You should tell him that. You know what else? No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not saying anything to him. Maybe maybe he, d he DJs on the DL, like, like you know, like behind the scenes in the club, like... Maybe he needs to hook up with Justin Bieber and do a track with him. With the All-Stars? Jamie is talking to Big Brother about tonight's killer nomination. It's the first time I felt like I'm on the spot. You know, no one's really done a thing to make me feel like I want to... I'm going to... I have something to pick out. You know, Bianca's a beautiful girl, she's cute, and I felt like she was really nervous today with the whole situation. And for me, Ray J, you know, I know he's had a bit of a sleep up, but for me, he's a great character. And he's got, you know, I like his the way he is and the stuff he comes out with. And for me, I think, like, he's going to be, like, the star for me. What are your plans the rest of the night, Jamie? <laughs> Well, I feel like my uh, the bromance with Callum, I need to get it back together. I feel like it's getting lost. Jasmine's, you know, she's getting involved with both, and I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Well, and you know what? It's just a, it's great fun to be fair because I love a bit of uh, a flirt up and stuff, and you know, she seems like she's proper fun and up for up for a laugh. Um, but I feel like we're playing it off each other. Obviously, Jasmine's a beautiful girl. But um, I'm not one to compete or anything like that. I would I'd much rather just to have a bit of fun and have a laugh. Um, and I think Callum's the same as well, but um, I feel like I need to get him back on my team, you know, because I don't want to lose my boy to the dark side. Oh, we're getting there, aren't we? Colleen, you need to shave right there. Callum, I'm heartbroken. You're touching my girl. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. 
already. He goes, that's my girl. He goes, well, yeah, I'm heartbroken, that's my girl. <laughs> I, I can't see how that one's going to play out. I think I might get kicked out of the bed soon, to be honest. And I'm, you know, that's when I'm going to have to start. That's when I'm going to have to pull him up and be like, come on, man. We had our little thing. You know, I was happy with uh, the bed I was in. And I feel like he's going to come and take that and be like, come on, off you pop now. <laughs>Jasmine is talking to Big Brother about her feelings for Stiercy. Kind of do want to strangle a bitch, I'm not gonna lie. Tonight, what really set me off, when we were doing our task, and immediately Jamie said, Bianca, I want to save Bianca. And I went, and I look like over to Bianca, and she like smiles, and then right next to her is Stacy, and Stacy just looked at me and went, like the most evil glare. Like I felt like I was like, I was like, gee, like, I, because I'm like happy that someone made it, you're going to look at me, the look of death, like, calm down. It was so evil and like, you know when someone's looking at you and it wasn't, it was evil. And to me, I was like, God, like, I'm just happy my girl made it, like, calm the fuck down. It's like, I, I don't like that shit, she's so negative and... Every fucking move she makes, she's got this frown or she just wants to talk about drama. And why does she always choose to sit right next to me? She, I think she wants to sit next to me because she thinks she'll get more camera time because I'm cuter than her. I truly believe that because she's an asshole. Stacy and Jimmy are talking about Jasmine. What's going on with you and Jasmine? You like her? No, I think she's cute. Like, obviously, like she's, she's very beautiful. Attractive. Yeah, she's yeah. very attractive very woman. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's fun, you know. I like a bit of fun and have a laugh and have a giggle. I don't know where that would go to be. I don't know. Right. I'm not sure. I'm looking at the dynamic of the three of you. It's interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like she's playing it. Like she's yeah. playing it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's fine. I would yeah, too cool. if I had yeah. attention from two gorgeous men. So I just, I just wondered for you if it was like any real feeling in there, or, or if you liked her, and <coughs> you kind of waiting to see how she's playing it. No. Oh, okay. All right. I was curious. Edward has returned from hospital. Yeah. 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 What did they do to your hair at the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> Edward, Spencer was here crying. He did, couldn't go to sleep without shit. We were together. Yeah, I was like, I was like, go to sleep, Spencer. Go to sleep. He was like, no, not well. That's why I was worried. Yeah, I'll get really upset. I think I'll probably start crying. I swear. I swear. Forget shampoo. I promise. Yeah, where is your brother? Yeah. I didn't feel like right. 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 that. Right. You didn't like that, did you? I'm fine. I'm in the pool. Yeah. She wanted, she wanted you to tackle tack him. Yeah. I literally have like a big dog. He's like, yeah, I'm in. Yeah. He's just gonna hit me. You can't go. Come on. I'm fine. I'm gonna do it too. How bad does it hurt? Oh my god, you had an IV. Let me just have this moment for one. Yeah. She wants the moment. I just want one moment. She wants the moment. Just one. Just one. Double moment. Double moment. What a naughty girl. Uh, so nice. What a naughty girl. I mean, you guys, we all fit. Let's be real. I would have watched it. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, boys are going to bed now, babe. I, mean, no, I, I keep hearing that, but... Good night, babe. I don't... The lights are off. Good night. Good night. Okay. Love us in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeeze, squeeze over. Squeeze over. Love us in the morning. Oh, oh. Yeah, do you guys have any? Okay. Okay. I gotta get out of here. Okay. Come. But if yes. I share the idea, we're gonna talk to our friends. Good night, baby. You guys are all cool. You just came out with two new songs. Just literally. Like, literally. With Edge. Yeah, came out with two new songs. No, no, no. Yeah, his own songs came out. Yeah, yeah, you do know. Uh oh, Jasmine's moving. Please get in Jedward's bed, Jasmine, please. The tracker is moving. Good night, Callum. Good night.
Ah, Jedward, they really are quite incredible. And from Big Brother's bedroom antics to a network premiere about such activity, Cameron Diaz stars and all hell breaks loose when her sex tape goes viral in Channel 5's movie, Next.